I'm at the corner of Highway 25 and Pinoche Road, heading down to the New Idria Mine, which is an abandoned mine that was operational from the 1850s until 1972. It's kind of an interesting history in the area. Remote roads that are not well maintained, although they are paved, at least as far as we're going anyway. The mine of New Idria was named after an existing mine in Austria, the Idria Mine. There's a lot of history in this area of Mexican banditos, in particular Joaquin Murrieta, who was most active before the formation of the New Idria Mine, if I recall. But uh, Joaquin Murrieta traveled throughout California, causing trouble. And then later on, Tiburcio Vasquez was one of the main Mexican banditos. Although none of them kind of stuck entirely in one area, Vasquez spent more time in this area. He robbed the new Idria stagecoach once, knew and or operated with Joaquin Marietta for a little while. I don't expect this road is very well maintained at all. And it'll get worse as we go. There's electricity out here, that's a plus. Here's my K1100 on this road. I even did a little bit of dirt. When you go through the town where the mine was, the remnants of it is, after you pass through, you make a turn and you start going up a hill. And that's dirt. And that uh, turns into clear, that's Clear Creek Road, uh, pretty much. And it goes into the Clear Creek management area. The first time I went there, I wasn't sure what kind of dirt road it was. It's actually pretty rugged, generally. Uh-oh. Got some sprinkles on the visor. I doubt it'll even turn into light rain. Famous last words. As the sky opens up, do not taunt Mother Nature. Okay, I can feel a little bit of precipitation on my face. And it's increasing. I think we made a strategic error. Hopefully I get past this stuff and it's would have been clear out at New Idria because this is a long way to go for a bust. Been raining on me while I pulled over to put a liner in. But you can see how wet the seat got in just, you know, I don't know, 10 minutes at most. I'm not sure how long this will last. One handy thing about ADV bikes when you're spending a long day on the road is when your butt really starts to hurt, you could stand up. You get a little more wind in your face, which in light rain like this helps keep your visor clear. Now, when it's raining pretty hard, sorry, you're screwed. But rain like this, yeah. Now you can do this number with your hand and that has limited success depending on your glove and if it's got a little piece of rubber as a squeegee. All kinds of crappy patches here that look really slick. Wow. <laughs> pothole Central. I think there are potholes in the potholes. Okay, the rain is lessening but up by the peaks there, it's looking worse, and that would be the direction we're heading. So this should be the Pinoche Inn. Yep. Looks like it's open. Good place to get a cold drink if you're out here on a hot summer day, because this is really close to the Central Valley of California. That gets hot. You can see here, this this road gets lots of love. Beautiful lighting on those hills. Now we're not going to go way up into those hills, but that's actually looking pretty good. I'm going to keep going. I'm this far out. It's not like a little rain will hurt me. Yeah, you can see there. It's definitely raining over there. Not a whole lot, but this way is a lot clearer. Of course, it looks like the clouds are coming this way. It's not really raining at all here. 
Although it looks like it might have it's dark clouds there. A little spotty. Kind of has that first rain of the season smell too. Road closed ahead. Bridge washed out. What the heck? Oh man. Google usually knows about that stuff and it won't let you route. Uh, and I checked the mileage in Google Maps last night and it routed me all the way to the mine. Well, I'm going to go as far as it'll let me go. Oh, geez. Check this out. Ah, Woohoo! Oh! Haha. <laughs> Got off the seat just in time. That was a huge puddle. Although we will be coming back this way on the way out. Ugh. Oh, wow. That really kicked up my tire. <laughs> it's like it wheelied. This road is getting pretty nasty. I know a guy that used to come here pretty much every weekend. And uh, there was a guy that owned some property that he was friends with. And that uh, property was just before uh, the mine. And uh, it was large enough that uh, they made some dirt bike trails so people could ride bikes there because the uh, dirt biking in the uh, BLM area had been closed down. But the guy that owned the ranch died and then uh, his sister she took over for a few years and she died. As I heard, the trails were pretty good. And the, the guy I know that worked on that was a nice guy and talented. Good rider, too. Hell of a lot better rider than me, that's for sure. But then again, that describes most dirt bikers. We're almost getting to be more pothole than road. But rain is being kind at the moment. Jeez, I'm almost thinking I need to stand up on this stuff. Is this the bridge that was out? Well, this is, Jesus Christ, that one pothole went halfway to China. Uh, look out. <sighs> we literally are having to stand up to tra traverse this road at times. I really should get on this side, but it's a lot worse. You never know when a car is going to come around the turn right well this looks like newer stuff and a house hmm. oh roads going to dirt okay this is new didn't used to be dirt maybe they're redoing some of the pavement usually they would do the worst spots first so I gotta wonder if they're doing this spot given some of the areas I just rode over. <laughs> How bad was this? <laughs> yeah, it looks paved up there, I think. But I don't care, I could do fine. I'm, just, I'm traveling this at the same speed that I was traveling the pavement. Okay, this is actually in better condition. There might be a sudden lip or edge though. Oh, it just got a little wet. It's not that it's paved. Only a little bit wet though. Probably has excellent grip. Not enough to cake up your tires, but enough to grab versus, you know, loose dirt. And they're preparing it to put pavement on it. So it's not beat up at all. Ooh, bike started to wander there. Whoa. Whoa, 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 <sighs> This is getting scary. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is clay. It's wetter than I thought. <clears throat> okay. How can I avoid the mud? Because it was a problem for a few hundred feet. It's going to be a little hard to lift. Because my feet are going to slip. Where's the best traction? Probably off here in this grass. Look at my tires. They caked. That's why I lost all my traction. Yeah, I thought there was a little spot of some loose stuff or something, but it uh, 
rapidly got shitty. I need to think about my return path here. I might be better right here on the edge instead of here where it's smooth. Yeah, it rained a bit more here than I thought, I guess. We. Okay. Not sure how I'm going to lift this. I think my shoes would just slide trying to do the butt lift. The tires will slide. So I might want to drag the bike to the uh, straw there and then work my way down. Wow, that bike got sideways pretty quick. Wee Look at that slide. Not likely to see a car here. I think you hear us to uh, be patient, careful, thoughtful. Yeah, it was fine until we got to this section here where it came into dirt and it's very, uh, yeah. yeah, and it's like clay. It's and I thought it was like, you know, it swirled a little bit and then I, I lost it. It's just fun. So should we uh, go each side? Why don't you grab this? Yeah. And I'll grab there. Mm -hmm. One, two, two, three. And go. <laughs> Alright, let me, uh, let me gear up, get the helmet on. Kicked off some of the mud on my shoes. The tires are mostly clear, clear enough to ride. Just in time, it's raining. The guy that helped me in the Jeep told me that, you know, the road gets worse and it's dirt all the way up to town now, which it didn't used to be. Um, and the bridge is out. Ah, well, this has been fun. What a letdown, man. That bridge is probably not gonna get fixed for years. Let's clear the treads out. Wow, that pothole was huge. I think there was a ship trying to cross it. Jason and the Argonauts or something is. He's thinking of going to New Idria. He's gonna be sorely disappointed. I was tempted to flag him down and say, dude, don't, but you know, hey, I don't know, maybe he comes out here. I mean, I'm the one who hasn't been out here in 10 years in the clueless putt. So you might be wondering, how is it that a year ago on pavement at about a mile an hour, I tipped the Ducati over and break my foot. And here I was probably doing maybe 15 and the bike spun out, fell over and I was entirely uninjured. Why is that? Well, twofold. One, I have crash bars on this bike, which I now have on the Ducati, but I did not then. And also, the big panniers I have on the back here, the Pelican bags, they keep the bike from falling all the way over here as well. Although it does have a tendency to lie flat, making it difficult to lift, at least in mud. I've looked at it before, more times than I care to admit. But because of that, though, you know, 
The bike didn't land on me. So my new boots got broken in today. I mean, I've ridden them on a couple of rides. Definitely the first mud they've gotten on them. <laughs> they got plenty of that. They got a little Sunday family picnic out in the front yard there. Smells good too. She stopped them hungry. Will you help a starving biker? Might actually get ringed on a little bit. The back of the fairgrounds, kind of. The midway. Oh, the rides are going now. Yeah, sweet. A little bit. Ferris wheel is parked at the moment, although people are on it. If you've liked this ride, check out one at the top of your screen. And consider liking and subscribing, because we want to build a family here at Ride On, and we'd like you to be a part of it. And wherever your journeys may lead, Ride On.